Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to activate and set up your Samsung SSD on a Windows 10 PC. And if you've been following this series, you'll know that we've cloned the drive and now we've got it in the Windows PC behind me. So the next thing that I need is a program that's going to make it run properly. And that program's called Samsung Magician and I've got links to the download of this in the video description. So once you've downloaded that program then you need to set it up. But like everything to do with computers not everything is quite as simple as it seems. And what I found was that as I went through the activation of this program, I run into one or two problems and I should have known the problems I was going to run into because I had similar problems when I activated the last Samsung uh, SSD that I put it into a laptop. So I'm going to try and help you so you don't have the same issues that I had. And to do that, the first thing you need to do is set a restore point because if you don't, you could lose all of the information that you've already uh, painstakingly put onto your PC. So this is how you do it. At the same time that you're on the Samsung website downloading Samsung Magician, also look for the PDF file for the relevant SSD that you're working with for the operating system that you're going to install it on. For me, it's the 860 EVO solid state drive for a Windows 10 PC and I downloaded it and I actually read it. Please excuse the quality of this recording. I had to use my camera so that the screen recorder didn't interfere with the setting up of my new SSD. And so the first thing I did come down to the Samsung Magician icon on the desktop and I clicked on that and I was greeted with the fact that it wanted to update so I clicked on update and of course the computer shut down and had to restart. When the Samsung program had finished its update I clicked on the desktop icon and I entered the program at this window and I first clicked on system compatibility and it told me there was no issues. Obviously if there was an issue I would have to put that issue right but luckily for me that's okay. Then I used the over provisioning icon to enter this screen but as I was trying to set the over provisioning figure to be the figure that I wanted nothing was working it was like it was frozen now I realize that I needed to go to rapid mode and set the computer on that setting before anything else would work and before I do that it's a good idea to set a restore point but I did not So I'm going to click on performance benchmark. I'm going to come up to this drop down. I'm going to click on the drop down and I've got trim enabled. I've got AHCI mode. That's good. That's good. And I'm going to turn on rapid load. And I don't, well, I'll leave that to show me again if I need to. So I'll click OK to that. And it's saying your computer must be restarted after enabling rapid mode. So I'll click yes. And once that has gone through, so I I need to um, I just need to set a restart point after reading that. So let's do that. I need to put create a restore point. I'm 
I'm going to call it PC OK and I will click OK or create. I'm going to click close and what is happening? Nothing. It's discovered that I'm impatient, so I will continue to wait till it's finished. Several minutes later, nothing had happened. Then I realised the text box was obscuring some information. Then it was a simple matter of going back one screen, turning on system protection, clicking on apply and then clicking on OK. Then creating a restore point. So I'm going to click on performance benchmark. I'm going to come up to this drop down. I'm going to click on the drop down. Then I'm going to toggle on rapid mode and then click restart. Everything should then be hunky dory. And all I need to do is put my password in. and the PC should be in rapid mode. So to check that out, I'll try using something that is going to use a lot of power you can see now because we're in rapid mode that we're using 117 watts 136 watts so if I go to my 4k video which I'm playing from a, a USB port because I haven't got much on this computer at the moment and still finding my way around uh, if I click on Passport and click on my Days Out videos and I go to Aero Force and then I choose one of these videos to play, let's see how it plays. So that's 4K video. This computer only has a 2K screen but it's playing very smoothly, no problem at all. And I'm still only using 171 watt. So, as I say, I could run this off a very small inverter. And I think that's it. What I need to do is just get my um, filing system sorted out because I've, lo I've lost some icons. These are ICO file icons that I've made myself and because that file is on uh, the D drive which isn't at the moment on this PC the certain things can't work because it hasn't got the information to make them work but as soon as I bring the files in with the ICO file those uh, icons will change and with a little bit of Samsung magic here's the proof now, just to check out everything's okay, I'm going to come across to the Samsung Magician desktop icon and click on it and a quick look through this system. I'm going to click on system compatibility and everything is okay. System performance benchmark, you can see the figures there, they seem adequate to me. I'm going to go to performance optimization. This is the equivalent on an SSD of what disk defrag is on a HDD. If you find that your uh, Samsung is not performing as well as it used to, you can just optimise the drive. 
it can be set up to do itself automatically and if I come to over provisioning I can show you that I have now been able to set my over provisioning level at 11% using custom settings and I'm very happy with this drive so I'm going to come out of that the new Samsung Magician installation guide gives advice on checking whether your SSD is optimized properly and this advice is at the very end of the document and it gives us the information that we need to go to task manager performance memory tab to ensure that full optimization of memory is achieved and it's showing that we will go from a figure of 46.5 megabytes to a figure of 1.4 gigabytes i'm going to the start screen i'm typing in task manager i'm going to click performance on memory and I'm checking the figure and it says 1.5 gigabytes I think that's good so the big question is was it worth it yes yes it was it was worth all of the effort and all of the expense it's transformed my four-year-old all-in-one PC and it's made video editing in 4k a breeze so i'm going to prove this to you basically by showing you how fast the computer now starts up so excuse me but i'm going to turn my back switch the computer on i'm going to log in i'm going to go onto google i'm going to go to my channel and see how quickly i can get there so Turn the computer on. I've put my password in. And if I come up here to Google and I open Google and I go to my channel, Useful Wisdom. And I'm already in my channel and it took a matter of seconds am I happy yes I am is it good it's fantastic so at the end of this video you'll see some end screen annotations they will take you to other videos related to this one I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching bye for now